Hey guys, so I know folks have been having um, some challenges with Screencast-O-Matic. Um, we are not sure if that's something from their end, um, since it is a web-based service. Um, if you tried the fix I did in my previous video, um, where you download and install the application and work that way, and that still didn't work for you, um, I'm going to introduce you guys to another piece of software that you can use to do pretty easy um, screen capture recording. Um, remember, you could also always use Zoom or Teams um, and basically host a meeting, share your desktop, and record that, but not invite anybody. And then you'll get an MP4 recording that you can then again upload to Screencast-O-Matic's um, database or you can upload to YouTube and share from YouTube. Okay, so um, the other software that I use that I like a lot is called Open Broadcaster Software. So I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna search Open Broadcaster Software. <clears throat> and they have this for all um, operating systems, so Windows, Mac, or Linux. It's completely free. Um, it's just a little harder to get set up, but once you get it set up, it's super easy. All right, so um, I have a Windows machine, so I'm going to download Windows. <clears throat> this is actually the software I've been using to record all of my screen capture how-to videos um, on my Surface Pro. Um, I do not have it on my Dell laptop, so I'm going to record it while I install it here. All right, so I'm going to hit save. All right, it's going to take a little while um, for this system to download it. So I will be right back. All right, so now my download's finished. Um, the first thing I want to also point out to you guys is that there are some quick start startup guides um, as well as um, support here in the forums and um, community message boards. Um, so feel free to check that out if you need additional help in getting set up or if you have some troubleshooting issues. All right, so <clears throat> now that I am downloaded, I'm going to start my executable and start the install. Okay. Yep, I'm greedo at all. Yep, install it. All right, now it's going to start installing. It doesn't take long at all. Installing, installing. All right, I'm going to click finish. Now it can walk you through a quick setup. I'm going to walk you through sort of a basic setup. <clears throat> All right, so it's going to say, would you like to do the auto configuration wizard? Um, you can click yes, and it's going to walk you through sort of configuring everything in your system. Um, so I would suggest optimize for recording that I will not be streaming. Next. Um, you can just let it choose your resolution, so the current resolution um, and the, the frames per second. Um, I'd leave that alone as well. Next. And then apply settings. Alrighty. So this is your working screen right here. Okay, um, this is what we call a scene, and the scene is basically what it's going to capture in this window. So right now it's all black, so we need to add some sources. So to add a source, I'm going to go here to this little plus sign, and the first thing I'm going to add is um, display capture. So I want it to capture my monitor or everything that's on my monitor display. So I'm going to say OK, and now you'll see there's my monitor. You get a really cool mirroring effect when you have this up. And then um, the next thing you also want to select is your audio input capture for your microphone. Um, so you can say add existing mic and say OK. <clears throat> 
and you can also make sure that it is set up properly. If you see, see my mic voice, you know it's working because you can see the mic audio picking it up. All right, you can adjust. If you keep getting into the red by just talking normally, you may want to bring the volume down a little bit so that it doesn't record super loud. <clears throat> um, another thing you guys might want to add is the camera. So I'm going to go to video capture device and let's say create new. Right, and then integrated webcam is what we're going to use and say OK. Alrighty, and it should pick up your web camera. Yeah, I see mine's lit up now. Um, so that is working. You can always toggle things off and on um, in order to not see it. Let's see. Let's see. Normally, your little webcam would show up, like a little box of you would show up, and you can just click and drag it around um, to put it where you want to put it. For some reason, mine is not picking up. This computer has some challenges for sure. Um, so I think that might be the problem. Oh, I know why. So normally that would show up. The reason is because I'm already using my camera for the other software that I'm recording. Um, so if I turned off my camera in my Camtasia software, then that would show up, right? So again, just go to camera, video capture device, um, either create new or there's not an existing one, so you have to do create new, okay. Make sure it's your integrated webcam, if it's a, a web camera already in your monitor as part of your computer, or you'll, you should see, like if you're using a Logitech webcam, it will say Logitech webcam. All right, and then you're gonna say okay. And like I said, normally if I wasn't already using my camera for this other recording, it would show up in this window and you could drag it around anywhere you want. Alrighty, so when you're ready to record, um, we have everything set up. We're going to hit start recording and it automatically starts recording. Um, it's recording this, it's recording everything. So if you want just your desktop, you're going to minimize OBS and then you're going to open up whatever PowerPoint presentation or media that you want to record on your desktop. Go through um, whatever it is you're recording, your script. And then when you're done, you're going to hit um, stop recording. Okay. To find your recording, you're just going to go to File, Show Recordings. Now we can set up where it saves to. It's going to automatically save um, to your this PC, your videos. Um, and here's the recording right here. Now really quickly, if I look at the properties of this recording, um, let's see what type of file type it is. So it's this MKV file. Um, if you want an MP4, which is what most like YouTube and other um, video sharing, storing places are, then we need to set this up. So go to settings <clears throat> and then go to um, video, not video, output. This is where you can tell it where to save your videos to on your hard drive. Here on recording format, we're gonna change that to MP4. That's your most common um, recording format that you probably wanna work with. Um, and then everything else can basically stay the same. I'm gonna hit apply to make sure it saves those and okay. All right, so now when I record, start recording um, and go through my spiel, and then when I say stop recording, now I can go to file, show recordings. There's my new recording. It does take a minute. The longer your recording is, the longer it will take. Um, so make sure you give it time. I always like to right click and go ahead and rename it so I know OBS demo. Um, 
so I know what file it is because it's automatically naming it um, using this date and time format. Um, and then again, we can either upload this using Screencast-O-Matic if it's working for you. So you just go to screencast-o-matic.com slash BSC online, log in, and then um, you can upload your video directly through here. Um, another thing you can do is go to YouTube and then add your video doing the YouTube upload as I demonstrated in previous um, examples. All right, so just go to create, add a video, upload video, and then find that video you just made and upload it that way. All right, so like I said, this is just a demonstration of using another screen capture recording tool um, that is free. Um, like I said, it's a little challenging to get set up, but once you set up your scene, um, it stays that way. Every time you open it, that's the way it's going to be set up. And um, it's pretty uh, reliable. I've never had any issues with this system. Um, again, I do have to use it with YouTube. Um, instead of Screencast-O-Matic, but I think this is just a good alternative to folks who are having challenges with Screencast-O-Matic. Um, and you can also, you know, just do some research, some Google um, screen capture recording. Um, you'll be able to find some other software out there that you might like better. Um, also remember, you can always record a video lecture using any teleconferencing tool. Just um, create the meeting, don't invite anybody, just have the meeting with yourself and record that meeting session and that would work as well. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.